Hi, this is Melanie of Pradesi Reviews, and I'm here to do a film review of the classic film Alabandan starring Kamal Hassan. If you're new to Pradesi Reviews, I do trailer reactions and film reviews of Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, and Hindi cinema. This is an amazing film by the director Suresh Krishna. Evidently, it was a huge flop when it came out in 2001, but it has attained kind of a cult status and was actually shown at Fantastic Fest a few years ago in Austin, Texas, to huge acclaim and a great crowd reaction. I really appreciate um, Josh, um, Josh Hurtado of uh, Fantastic Fest, because the joy he gave the director, uh, he screened two films. One was Alavandan, which was starring Kamal, and then another one was Basha. 2016 and 2017, if I'm right. Alavandan, uh, the crowd, the Western crowd, the American crowd really went crazy. And they actually, <laughs> I think they weren't able to figure out if this guy was serious or crazy or whatever. <laughs> but anyway, they had t shirts with Alavandan with Kamal's face stuck on it and caps. And, you know, Fantastic Fest went gaga over Alavandan. And that's the movie that uh, Suresh Krishna, the director, he had put his heart and soul into it and he did not get the um, deserved accolades then. 17 years later, he gets people praising his movie. There's an animated sequence in the film that the director, Quentin Tarantino, was inspired from this film to use an animated sequence in his film, Kill Bill. I have watched this film twice in the last few weeks. I just... There was, there's a lot there to take in. It's really a fascinating film. It's so entertaining. It gives you so much to think about. The film has been out for 18 years, so I'm not going to worry about spoilers. If you've never seen the film, Kama Hassan plays a double role. He plays sort of a special ops commander, VJ, and then he also plays a paranoid schizophrenic twin brother Nandu. It's a lot about duality. I don't know that I've ever mentioned my brothers are twins. My younger brothers are identical mirror image twins. Movies about twins fascinate me. Kamo Hassan wrote the novel that the, I didn't even know that he wrote novels as well, but the, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, correctly, but the novel was Diam. He also adapted the script from his own novel for this film. And then Suresh Krishna was the director. It starts with an action sequence showing Vijay in action, rescuing some kids from terrorists. And it reminded me almost like a James Bond kind of thing. We have commandos coming in on skis. At one point, somebody uses a nail gun. Like, it was... Just the, that as a set piece was amazing. He has a TV announcer for, I can't remember if they're fiance or they're already married or whatever. But anyway, they go to tell his brother at the psychiatric hospital that she's pregnant and they're getting married or whatever. And then there's this incredible scene. So we have Kamal Hassan playing both roles. Evidently, he gained, I don't know what the equivalent of 20 kilos is or whatever, but he gained all this weight and most of it's muscle weight and shaved his head to play Nandu. There's several scenes with both of them in the scene at the same time. So there was a lot of visual effects work to make that happen of them having of course, there's a physical fight, confrontation at the end. But this scene sets it up where they're on either side of a jail cell. And Nandu is, wow. Like, Kamal Hassan's performance as Nandu was amazing. I, I just, like, he's so evil. He's so out there. He is an unforgettable character. I will never forget Nandu course none to escape so that's a whole thing on an, in and of itself and just sort of the cat and mouse between vj and nandu and there's these incredible flashback scenes that explain what the triggers are the flipping of a coin 
whipping with a belt, just certain things set Nandu off. One of the things is hearing that Vijay's fiance is pregnant, it brings up all of these memories of their stepmother. Oh my gosh, these flashback scenes. The child actors that they got to play the brothers as quite young and then, I don't know, young teens, amazing. And the scene where Nandu kills the stepmother, oh, chills. Like how he reacts after killing her. It's so incredibly creepy. How they found this child actor that could pull this off something else but one of the things that sets this movie apart is this there's two animated sequences Nandu when he escapes he takes street drugs kind of trying to cope I think he'd been institutionalized since he was a kid when he murdered his stepmother so it was an interesting way to show a very violent scene involving women and stabbing and whatever that might not have passed the censors. It just really is is something really different and unusual. And I thought really effective in showing Nandu's warped way that he sees the world. It's like we're seeing it through his eyes. Everything is in his mind like a cartoon or something. Wow. I, it, it was really something else and I would love to know all of the decisions behind making those an animated sequence, if it was to really show that it was an altered state, or if it was to get past the sensors, or just kind of all of the above, and just creatively it was interesting to do. I don't know. If anybody knows more about that, I would love to know about it. I saw this film, by the way, on Simply South, which is, I think it's a newer streaming service. It had Rake's subtitles. <laughs> when I did an interview with Rakes several months ago, she talked about this movie and in particular she talked about the song Siri Siri and how she used all different English synonyms for laughter. And there's a song there called Siri Siri in Alavandan, Siri. which is about laughter Siri, and I was so happy that um, somebody, a couple of people in Twitter had uh, had tweeted saying the subtitles has given different words for laughter. I said, yeah, how can you have laugh, 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 laugh? It's like God is Lakshmi again, you know. Uh, Siri means laugh, to laugh, laugh, because this whole thing was about telling a joke and appreciating it. And so it loses um, value if you just go and say laugh, 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 you know. And I have a feeling I'm not getting all of the symbolism, with the snakes and all of that, and it seems like the Nandu character, I don't know if he's quoting his own poetry or if he's quoting some scripture or what, but there was a lot of stuff that I could, he was just speaking in a very uh, poetic kind of way. And that came through in, this, in the subtitles as well. If you know more about that, please let me know in the comments below. To me, one of the things that was really interesting about it is showing how the childhood trauma shaped the psychosis that the Nandu character has. And that, that flipping of the coin thing was just that scene that was so poignant when the brothers are divided in childhood and one goes with an uncle and one and Nandu is the one that ends up staying and that's decided by the flip of a coin. Oh, wow. I mean, I saw also that the VJ character sort of in a way had survivor's guilt. Like he was able to escape and so he was dealing with the trauma of that. And fascinating to end with finding out that the fiance is pregnant with twins and then they share this look and she's terrified like is history going to repeat you see that vj is such a good guy that he's like no it's okay we're going to be good parents because my god <laughs> what he went through with his childhood uh it's amazing that he came out as well as he did love to know your thoughts about this film I understand like audiences really didn't like it when it came out, but have you gained an appreciation for it over time, having seen it on television or whatever? Love to know if your feelings about the ch film have changed over time. It's certainly unique and different and unlike any other Indian film that I can think of that I have seen. Kamal Hassan, amazing as this, especially as Nandu, I will never, ever forget him in this role. 
Follow me on Twitter at PerdaisyYT. Subscribe here to Perdaisy Reviews. And if you hit the bell when you subscribe, you'll never miss another trailer reaction or film review.